What's up guys and welcome back to the 31 days of Jaytober. Hope you guys are enjoying it. We are like starting to wind down. I know you guys are sad, I'm sad too. But today we've got a video. No, don't hit dislike yet. I know you guys are seeing the whole like pre-built stuff and you guys are like, oh, we like to build stuff around here. That's why this one's different. I'm excited about this one because what you lose when you get a pre-built, whether it be from NZXT or some other brand, is the hands-on learning of how to build a computer. Because if you know how to build it, then you know how to change parts later if you need to, or work on it, or take something out, clean it, whatever it may be. So when you buy a pre-built, you miss out on that. So NZXT has heard you, and what they've come out with are the BLD kits, where basically you get sent a box that has all the parts in it, instructions, and more importantly, it retains the warranty, which is something that people are really afraid of when it comes to building their first computer, especially with how hard it is to get parts. It's like, if I damage it, or something goes wrong, or something doesn't work, what do I do? Well, you got one company that's gonna basically be your umbrella for all the parts and stuff, and that's NZXT, and it carries a warranty. So I figured the best way to kind of review and show this service is not by having me build it. I've built thousands of computers in my life, Having somebody who maybe hasn't built very many computers and does not have the type of knowledge that we have when it comes to building computers, which is why I've invited Mark back, a friend of the channel, so that he can try it out. Hey. I like how their little sticker looks like chain and a key. Do we really have, do we key? have the key? Yeah. I would say, do we have the key? I got the key right here. <laughs> oh, that's the clip. Hold on. There we go. The she clip, look, the clip is like, why is the clip doing that? Uh, if you guys don't remember Mark, he's the owner of the Destiny 2 build, uh, which is probably in need of an upgrade pretty soon. Here. It definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> Graphics cards got bigger since then and I could just get more Dremel wheels. If you guys haven't seen the Destiny 2 build video, then you guys need to go and check that out. It's one of the first builds I did on this channel in a long, like where I showed you guys how much I like to paint and do modding skills and stuff. But how many computers would you say you built? Maybe two or three, but all of them have been with Phil. And Phil's an experienced builder, and so he's able to uh, like, no, I'm sorry. No, no, he's, he's able to guide you through like, if you're like, well, wait, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so I'm only planning on being here. Like literally you were going to be the star of this video because I, I'm too easy. I have my own methods. So I like to build stuff a certain way. I may have a particular method to doing something and I would honestly not even use the instructions. So I figured the idea here is I'm going to be your lifeline if you get stuck. The goal here though is I, I, I might just be behind you distracting you and stuff. I don't know, but I, I want you to literally you're gonna open the package, you're gonna talk about what's in the box, you're gonna unbox it, because I want you to really be the consumer perspective okay, perfect. of this. The goal is you follow the instructions, kind of read them out and what it says, not necessarily exactly what it says, but just be like, okay, it's warning us to do a motherboard now or whatever. Um, if you get stuck, ask me, but try and work your way through it by using only the manuals. Now the thing is, NZXT does also offer support. So in the worst case scenario, they do have a helpline you would be able to like reach out to to get help with building this. Right now, that's gonna be me because that doesn't exist at the time of making this video. We're one of the first ones to try this out. So I wouldn't recommend unboxing it that way though, or otherwise it's just gonna spill out. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and let you take it from here, sir. You have the ceremonial knife. Thank you. Don't cut yourself. My insurance won't cover it if you do. Safety first though. Oh, you got a big dome, hold on. I do have a big dome. There we go. That works. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. the other thing. I don't even know exactly what parts we've got, if you want to know the truth. That's listed A, motherboard. Yeah, motherboard. This is an ASRock B560 Pro 4. Look at that book, wait. We have a car manual. What the heck? <laughs> that is, look at this. First of all, get in here, look at this. Look at this level of, dude. How big it is. How big it is. <laughs> they really spent some time on this manual. The journey begins. This is actually dope. So go ahead and finish unboxing it, but in terms of like what it wants you to do, level one, it wants you to put the memory on the motherboard. Artifact pieces. This is literally like a quest. It's kind of fun now, it's like a game. It is pretty sick. Um, oh wait, so A, motherboard, B is RAM 6. This is the order you'll be installing it. So motherboard, then RAM, then CPU, then NVMe, then cooler. So either water cooler or air cooler, right? That's why it's a slash, so E or F. G is the case. H is gonna be your power supply, I is your Wi-Fi card, interesting. And then G is the G, J is the GPU. So I guess you could dry erase marker on this, be like level one, check, check. This is actually really well thought out. I'm kind of surprised. Like I was like, I'm gonna be on the side and I'm like, get out of the way, I wanna see this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you fire kids Legos and then you start building it. It's cool. Hold on, you're doing it wrong. 
an NZXT kit. Oh. With tools. Okay, well then you don't need mine, fine. Uh, side cutters and then bits and stuff for the tool kit. And zip ties. I thought it was just gonna be parts in a list that says put the thing in the thing, like I say. Bag contains parts B, C, D, and I. So it's probably gonna be RAM, NVMe, and CPU. <gasps> it's a 3060 Ti. So that's part J. And then the last one. I'm J, also, I'm part J. I'm all J. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my. He popped the thing. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> See, they think Jay's faking it. I want another one. Adventures map for PC building. NZXT, send me another one. We need A and B, which is motherboard and a gig RAM. It looks like you're building a computer. I can help you with that. You might as well take the graphics card and the case off the table so you have more room. Okay, Dad. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're doing great, son. The most dangerous part of this build is getting that CPU in there without bending the pins. I'm pretty confident I can do that. Okay. This, this is less about the parts and more about the process, right? Yeah. It's a 10400F. The SATA cables that came with this board won't be used for this build. Exactly, like I said. I know a thing about computers. Put it in channels two and four. And they, oh yeah, look at that, I approve. I don't think there's two, are these both clip? No, no only one side. Clip. <clears throat> well, the diagram's different. Yeah, I'm, 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 not, I'm not here. <laughs> Level two. Hey, you leveled up. Installing the processor. So we need motherboard and processor. Let's open the socket. I know this is what you're most nervous about for me, right? That's what I'm most worried about right there. You didn't have to take that off yet, but that's fine. Did it tell you to? <laughs> nope. Oh, leave, leave it, leave it, leave it, it's fine. Okay. It would have popped off anyway. I get so nervous when people hold it above the socket. Close the socket. All right, level three, installing the M.2 NVMe SSD. Right here, SSD. What letter is that? D. D. The SSD, the, the super size. So <laughs> we need SSD, motherboard, <laughs> screwdriver handle, and PH0 bit. You want me to ask for help, don't you? All right, locate the N. M.2 slot. Right here, it says it, right here. Hey, there's tape on it. Oh, because it's the heat sink, right? Yes. Did you tell me how to seat it? Yeah, and then it tells you peel off the shield on the plastic and then you're gonna put it back on. It also says the Windows 10 is pre-installed on this, so. I did get it right, but it wants me to put a screw in that's not there. Jay? Okay, so it, right here it says screw in the SSD, but it looks like it looks like I need to put that first, right? Even though it doesn't say to do that. It's held down by the cover. Okay, because it tells you to screw it in before the cover. They grow up so fast. <laughs> Trying not to laugh right now. All right, level four, we level up three times so far. Installing the CPU cooler. What we need is the cooler, air cool or AIO cool. We, do air, we did air cool. Need these ones. I want to do it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell. Is it too slow? <laughs> no, it's just, that's why I couldn't do this because I've messed with all of these parts. I could just do it all without instructions. And the point of this is he's probably never really put one of these type of retention brackets together. So, I mean, shouldn't I see like, if I got it right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention to the orientation. Awesome. This is gonna be a somewhat tricky part. See if he catches it. The instructions mention it. Let's go back. But this looks identical, no matter which way I turn it. Okay. Is that correct? Do you see why? Look. Do you see the holes that those, that the, they right did, here? They did two though, they drew two. Yeah, but this is also a square. So if you had done it that way. Oh, okay. 
that's the way it's supposed to go. Technically, oh, like so that. then it wasn't. See how there's the notches? It can technically go both ways. What yeah. way would you suggest? I think this way. This way? That way it's sitting completely flush there and those aren't having to go through a hole. They're just notched out. Ah. A AMD can't. AMD is one way because it's rectangle. Secure the nuts and washer. I'm legitimately going through the dad mode right now. God, give it to me! <laughs> it's fine, actually. You're doing, you're doing just fine. You're doing fine. You're doing great. You're doing great. All right. We need the case, the motherboard, and this. Mark's not doing a bad job. It's it just, just you want to do it. I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Probably every, how every mechanic feels like when the customer's just sitting there staring at them, mm -hmm. but I'm the customer in this one. Definitely that scary, yes. Put it on its feet. <laughs> no, I, I totally knew. I, I totally knew. Look at how the ray of light shines down upon it. On the N60 case. Yeah, or on the, yeah. This is a really good manual. Unscrew the glass paneling, all right. Let's not damage anything. <laughs> that was really weak. It says right here, caution, some of the metal edges are sharp. That's in, right? We'll find out if it's fully installed properly. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good. He didn't see, he didn't see, he didn't see. I saw, he tilted it upside down. <laughs> All right, relocating fans. Maybe they should have just put an intake on this case. Yeah, why well, I mean, <laughs> then they didn't have to open it then. Or well, now they, they would have to open it. So yeah, they're just having you move it to the front now, it looks like. Yeah, so slide it in the thing. Keep rear fan untouched. Yeah, it's not touched. Don't touch the rear. Unscrew the fan bracket in the front. Fan blades pointed outward right here. That is correct. The cage is the exhaust side of the fan. Air goes through it that way. So you need to screw it down like that. Like that? Okay, that's what. And this is facing the motherboard tray. So you can put the fan th through one of those, okay. the wire. And it goes in like this and it, like, so, yeah, so that's correct, right? Like this? Yes, my job okay. here is done. Thanks, Dad. Wait, what? Mark, really? The other side. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I knew that. No. no. I'm doing it right. I'm doing, I'm doing it right. Oh. 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 <laughs> Level seven, installing the PSU power supply unit we need in the same stuff. It's telling you right here, A, B, or C. Non-modular, semi-modular, or modular. So it does teach you about that. What's the difference? Non-modular PSUs come with all of the cables pre-attached to the unit. You can skip the page, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can definitely build this under duress. Ah! <laughs> I meant I'm kidding. I meant I'm kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, level eight, cable management. Yay, the best part. Oh, there's so many colors. <laughs> look, look at all these colors. Watching people build computers, not my thing. <laughs> Why do you all do it? <laughs> I mean, yes, you should all definitely watch me build computers. I don't like how much it bends. The board? Yeah. Yeah, the board's gonna flex. Okay, well. Don't make, don't make that face. Don't make that face. Oh, we're inside, baby. There you go, got it. What is life? I'm not done, I'm not done, I'm not done. I just wanna tell you beforehand, I tried my hardest, all right, Jay? Okay. 
<laughs> did you so follow? Did you follow the manual? I follow the manual, and I and I just don't want you to be disappointed, right? I just want you to accept how it turned out. It's actually pretty good for a beginner. I'll take it. That's actually good. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine. All right. All right. Okay. Install yeah, level nine. Cooler, right? Yeah, level nine. Installing CPU cooler part two. I don't see thermal paste anywhere though. So I'm gonna interrupt this video for a second just to let you know that the thermal paste was actually there. Mark just thought it was a silica pack and then threw it in the big box. And we found it after this video was done. So that was our fault. Now everybody knows about the bird. A bird, a bird, bird. Bird is the word. Bird. Everybody knows about the bird. Well, everybody knows that the bird is the word. All right, that's actual size of the picture, it looks like. This is like so extra, this manual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not in like a bad way either. Yeah, and no, it's nice, yeah. It hasn't missed anything so far. Those are satisfying pops. All right, level 10, installing the Wi-Fi card, the Wi-Fi card. Plug the Wi-Fi card into the PCI slot closest to the bottom of your motherboard. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. Jay missed it. I saw it out here for a second, so. I'm just seeing if you guys are paying attention. Level 11, installing GPU, installing the Bitcoin miner, what? <laughs> Locate the top PCIe lane. It's this one right here. Slide it in until there's a click and screw it in. Nice. That was a click, right? That was a click. Okay, cool. And you can zip tie that pigtail, pigtail down along with the rest of the cable. Okay, yeah. and I will do that. It says level 12 finishing touches. Oh, so. <laughs> Sounded like me after that milk. All right, so it's built. I did more distraction than anything else. Yes. But uh, okay, so you literally built this from beginning to end using the manual. So Mark, opinions on the manual? Uh, I really liked it. I, li I liked how it was a storybook, had pictures. I, you know, I was um, not expecting this level of manual. Yeah, it's really nice. Now I was making the mistake of looking at the pictures and, and kind of skipping and not reading, yeah. So, yeah. but other than that, it's, it's important because this manual includes the different iterations at which you can order the BLD build kit because it has different GPUs available, different coolers available, and like different, uh, I think a couple different motherboards. Yeah. It, sh it basically tells you how to identify what you have and then which part of the manual to pay attention to. So you made the mistake too when you were plugging in the power. Yeah. You were like, I don't have a 12 pin connector. Yeah, and so and that's what it said. If you if it says Founders Edition, then yeah, and it told you the difference. I like how it told you the differences for AMD and Intel, and then also the modular and PCUs, and just explain the differences. I like the fact that it gave you cable management routing. That too, suggestions for yeah. routing, and do you feel like then if we weren't here, one distracting you, and two. If you were by yourself at home building this, would you have felt confident? I would feel confident because I, every tool they gave is everything I used. I didn't use anything of your, your guys' stuff. Uh, yeah, once we realized it came with a toolkit, which honestly I wasn't expecting, I thought it was gonna say, here are the tools you need, like every other kit you ordered, and then you're like, oh, I gotta go source a screwdriver and side cutters and stuff. It comes with everything. Even, yeah. the, even the little flashlight, which you use a few times. Okay, so the other thing here is usually the part that follows this is everyone's like, well, how do you get Windows installed, et cetera, et cetera. The manual actually tells you that Windows is pre-installed on the NVMe. So it's time now to turn on the power supply, push the power button, and let's see one if it boots up, and two if it boots up to an OS welcome screen. Oh, well, it didn't explode immediately. That's a good sign. And there you go. So Windows is pre-installed on the SSD as you can see, but for the very eagle-eyed, you might have noticed that NVMe is now in the lower slot, not underneath the cooler slot up above the GPU, which has the heat sink, or heat spreader I should call it. Um, interestingly enough, it was not detecting the drive in that slot. That's gonna be an ASRock thing. So just to kind of let you know what happened here, we uh, talked to NZXT about this issue, and we wanted to make sure that this was not a defect, and what we found out, 
uh, through NZXT's research is actually the B560 and the TOPS M.2 slot is not active if you're running a 10th gen CPU. So what they're gonna do before any customers ever receive this kit is they will be getting an upgrade to an 11th gen CPU, which will rectify this problem. Once again, not a defect, just a uh, weird combo of parts that we found out about before this ever went on sale. Again, Mark did nothing wrong. Everything completely works. Um, yeah, so neatest, cleanest build you've done so far. That would be yeah, I mean, I think it looks very nice. This is huge to have a brand give you a pre-built kit where essentially everything's there and the manual's there. I think I'm curious to see how this how this goes long term, what the support is like, what the feedback from the customers is like. Uh, but this is, I, I like the fact that NZXT is doing this because of the fact that this brings in that enthusiast, getting them involved, getting them hands on, letting them build it, not just take it out of the box, plug it in, and they would have stickers that say one, two, three, four for like what to plug in and turn it on and off you go. You get the pride of saying, I built that. And it has a warranty and it's all through one company. So the nice thing is if something did go wrong with the drive or the graphics card or the motherboard, you only have to talk to NZXT and then we'll handle it for you. Whereas when you build your own computer, if the motherboard goes bad, you have to talk to them directly. If the GPU has a problem, you talk to them directly. And it's just, you got 17 different brands you got to deal with in terms of warranties. But at least with this, you have only one company that you have to talk to. So anyway, guys, uh, description down below will have a link to the NZXT build kit so you guys can start configuring and seeing what the pricing is like. Um, obviously, it's, there's a lot of factors involved in what's available in the pricing, and I have no doubt that if there's GPUs available, obviously, with these kits, they're gonna go fast. So if it's something you're considering wanting to do, I wouldn't wait. Click on the link down below, and you guys will be taken over to the NZXT's BLD site where you can see all the kit options and start configuring it yourself. Um, it was really weird watching somebody else build a computer on my channel and I'm, I literally had nothing to do except have Nerf Wars with Nick and piss off Phil. So anyway guys, thanks for watching this one and we'll see you in the next one where I'm gonna build it, my way. And I'll watch from home. <laughs> Wait, did I kill <laughs> I can't do that good. What? <laughs> <laughs> Wah! That, sounds Wah! Like a, that sounds like AI dying right there. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Damn, that, that sounds like a car crash like right before. <laughs> 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 that, that I don't want to do it that way and do it some other way. Yeah, the do it the way police is yeah, coming. <laughs> okay. Hey, you know there are sirens right now, so it's perfect. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear it. It's a joke. Oh. <laughs>